Well, we went to Block Island for the purpose of finding a place that we could rent or we might eventually buy. So we were on our second or third trip, and uh, it, we, here was this bare piece of land. Wouldn't it be interesting to do something with that? So we found that we could buy those seven acres, get the view we wanted, we can get the location we wanted. There was nobody around and nobody there. I, I used to be sort of a love affair from the beginning. Uh, it looked so, so perfect and it was all ours. We liked the idea that it could be reached in one day because Friday afternoon I could get back, get the seven o'clock boat and I would be in good shape. I seem awfully vague about this, but it is 30 or 40 years ago. It was prefab because we could have it down on the mainland, we could watch it on the mainland, we could see it on the mainland. It was just to make it easier. And finally, when it was all done, we told them where we would have the view. We want to put it right there. Good, it's done. In the beginning, there, the builders just gave it a year before the winter winds would blow down. So we said, no, we don't think so. We will overdo the strength. It never blew down. It was undoubtedly constructed from a craftsman point of view. I think even from a prefab point of view, it was well handled. Prefab today is still very interesting. I don't think it's being used enough. The sun played a big role. We wanted as much light in as possible to bring outdoors indoors. My favorite would be the early morning light and the late afternoon light. It's a place to be taken seriously. On the other hand, it's full of charm, primitive charm. We were in the water most of the time in the daytime, but we would sit around at night and talk and uh, sketch and have fun. It was a search for the primitive family life with nature, very strongly nature. It was a very simple life, and I think we may have convinced the children that that's worth looking at. Well, the furniture was, of course, our own. Primarily furniture from our factory, our factory in Middle Connecticut. You, you take a house, the simplicity of our house are here, and through that, you, you find something. It wasn't really country furniture. It was house furniture that we stuck into a summer house. Good design is something that pleases the eye. Good design was very much part of function, but good design meant that it was easier to work with, it, was, it looked better, and uh, more people would buy it. Now, that was very important. It's wonderful to be back. We have been coming every year. And the children have grown up living there ever since on their own and uh, as a family. There's something peaceful about the island. It is a unique feeling that you're, you're there. Not that it's yours, 
but you're using it. This is a house, you know, and uh, you will be in it, and as such you will be part of the house and a part of the life of the house.